hello, and thanks for joining me once again today. I'm joined by uh, Dr. Deku Mondavia, who is the Chief Medical Officer for Fujifilm. And, you know, Fujifilm, a few years ago, purchased Sonosite, and, and Dr. Mondavia is an expert in ultrasound. Welcome, Dr. Mondavia. Thank you. Glad to be on. Uh, I know that ultrasound has a lot of advantages because it can go directly to the point of care. Uh, can you share with us just a little bit about how it was used to diagnose COVID-19? Sure. Um, you know, one of the advantages of point of care ultrasound, it's almost like the Swiss Army knife uh, in healthcare, or uh, certainly for frontline clinicians, we recognize this. So specifically to COVID-19, the early experiences out of China showed they could uh, see lung lesions and identify the pneumonia. Then subsequently, as the disease progressed in Europe and we learned more, the Europeans were using it a lot, uh, not only for lung, but for heart. And then as, it's, as we were learning more about the disease, unfortunately, uh, that we recognize is a lot of thromboembolic complications. So with the, the DVTs, pulmonary embolisms, all recognized with ultrasound. Of course, many of these patients are in shock. They need uh, uh, urgent procedures such as CVCs or uh, uh, peripheral IVs, all of these things are very beneficial and point of care ultrasound is beneficial um, in, in taking care of these patients. Now, I understand uh, that you worked with Dr. Sorti who diagnosed patient zero in Italy. Uh, what did you learn in your conversations with him? So I had a, an opportunity to speak with Dr. Sorti. I've known him for many years, and he was certainly at the epicenter in Italy, uh, a, a completely um, tragic situation there. They were completely overwhelmed, overwhelmed the resources. Uh, as an example, um, you know, CT scanning was available, but when you had a mass influx, they quickly pivoted to ultrasound. And their protocol included things, simple things such as a pulse oximeter, uh, uh, reading uh, an ABG and a point of care ultrasound to quickly triage patients in the sick, not sick, uh, dealing with the volume of cases that they found. Interesting. You know, I, I've heard, I know, uh, I've spoken with someone in, in uh, Russia who's using, relying on CT. Uh, hospitals in New York are relying on portable x-ray. Uh, can you, do you have any data or uh, can you draw any comparisons between the differences for CT, X-ray, and ultrasound? I will say all the imaging modalities are good. They have advantages and disadvantages. Um, as an example, CT scanning, though very good, is a limited resource, right? And so when you have a large volume of patients, it's difficult to, to send them there, right? These patients are often unstable, very hypoxic. Furthermore, it ties up that CT scanner because that CT scanner then needs to be terminally cleaned before the next patient. So that's a disadvantage. Now, x-ray and ultrasound are at the bedside. So that's a big advantage to a seriously ill patient. And x-ray, you can see the, the lungs quite well, though with ultrasound, as I mentioned, COVID-19 is not a, a, a single organ disease, it's a multi-organ disease. And that's where the advantage goes to ultrasound where you can see the lung, you can see the heart, you can see the vascular system. You can do a lot more point of care diagnosis with point of care ultrasound. Furthermore, you know, it's very mobile, it's battery operated. And so we've seen, uh, as an example, um, uh, you know, with their field hospitals in, in Central Park uh, using sonosite devices uh, because the advantages of, of that technology can be in locations like that. I see, you know, I, uh... I'm not an ultrasound tech. Uh, is it difficult? Are there, is there any special training or can a run-of-the-mill ultrasound tech with experience use this service? So if the actual findings aren't that difficult to learn. Uh, anyone who has used ultrasound, these are pretty straightforward findings. Um, in fact, there's lots of resources. In fact, at sonosite.com, we have a lot of resources on how-to videos things like this, as well as a lot of evidence around uh, point of care ultrasound and COVID-19. But absolutely, it's within the reach of any sort of frontline clinicians that will be taking care of these patients. And I've seen the, the chatter via email and social media of, of what, we're, what this disease actually is. It's actually 
outpacing the medical articles, right? The medical journals, right? In the classic way physicians learn our textbooks and journal articles. But this pandemic has come so quickly, we're relying on other means as well to learn collectively together while the true evidence is being, um, is being collected, right? And, and, and that's great. And the, uh, but this is a big part of uh, us solving um, uh, this COVID-19 illness. Well, uh, thank you very much for, for that insight. Uh, and I appreciate your time. Thank you.